Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2021 Toowoomba Hockey Grand Final main event, the A-grade men. As we see both teams running through the banners or running through the streamers out onto the field to contest this final tonight. Umpire Josh McPaul and Corey Mogg, and form umpires of the year. Get the game. So we run through the, the player list. So for the Red Lions men, we've got Josh Bidgood, Nick Bidgood, Lockie Brown Halls, Tom Burge, Nathan Case, Corey Goose, Ollie Harding, 16 today. Happy birthday, Ollie Harding. Brad Hobday, Will Nielsen, Dylan Pember, Jaden Schroeder, the inspirational Craig Smith as their captain, Mitchell Smith, Elliot Speed, Michael Boyd, and Daniel Burge. And tonight they're up against a fierce competitive team in Norths, Cam Baxter, Liam Brown, Matt Burge, brother of Tom, Jimmy Cunliffe, Benny Edwards, the captain, Chris Glass, Ty Goodaham, Zach Goodaham, Kynan Haddock, Alex Hilton, the keeper, Liam Matheson, Micah Matthewson, Carter Mogg, Jacob Robinson, Caleb Lindsay, and young gun Will Suey. As we see now, Carter Mogg steaming forward with the ball, in through some traffic, finds Brown. Good touch by Brown Halls. No touch by Brown, so red lines ball. Says I'm Pye McPaul. And as I'm welcoming him, my name's Steve Hawthorne. As I'm welcomed here tonight by our one and only <laughs> birthday boy himself, Mr. Matty Cook. Thanks Welcome, Steve. Cookie. No, good to be here, mate. Just uh, been down on the, on the ground for the presentation of the A1 women. Great to see Rangel happy with the trophy and um, I'm sure they'll have a fantastic night. As we see here, Norse on the ball. And mate, just a quick congratulations to you and your committee for such an outstanding day. There's people everywhere as we see, there's banners, there's flags, there's supporters. So the, the, the day's been an absolute success with a perfect weather, great hockey and finishing now with hopefully one of the best games of the year. Absolutely. Thanks, Steve. It's been a yeah, real team effort from the Toowoomba Hockey Community this year. Everyone's tried to do what's best for hockey for the, for the majority of the season. And it's, um, yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic day for hockey here in Toowoomba. And hopefully we've got one more cracking game to go. Yeah. Oh, I can't see this game being anything but a cracking game. Great as you hockey see, yeah. red lines early. Smith inside, outside ball. Goose turns it over. Both teams full of stars. Glass, Brown, Matheson played a lot of indoor state stuff. Edwards, just to name a few for Norse. Alex Hilton's been fantastic in the net all year. Some young guns. Had on backwards Lindsay here tonight. Will Suey. So there's that there's that long ball from Glass. Massive opportunity here. Norse midfield were all high. Cunliffe, Jimmy Cunliffe. Saves the day at the back there. Haddock. Little back stick jink. Carter Mogg. Over the top of Nielsen. Wins the free hit. And like I said, Case. Brownhall, Smith. Goose. Some real quality in amongst this red line side. Burge, under 18 state keeper. So, really looking forward to the two big good boys. Um, you know, it's going to be a great clash. You see Big Good on the ball now. Throws the ball back and around. Nathan Case now on the ball for red line. Drives straight into the circle, takes a touch. Jimmy Cunliffe, right place, right time. Yeah, he'll be busy tonight, Cunliffe. Very mobile defender. He'll go left and left hand side and right hand side of Glass. Glass will call the shots, but he, he's got some quality around him. Yeah, one of the most respected players in the A1 comp took out the uh, the player of the year this year, which is voted by the umpires. Jimmy Cunliffe, yeah, absolutely. And Carter Mogg. And yeah, shared it with Carter Mogg, so congratulations to those two. As we As see Cunliffe yeah. steaming through the midfield. Cunliffe. Throws it through down the left-hand side. Benny Edwards, only opportunity. Oh, Ralsey stick over the top. Huge yeah, early opportunity. Stick. Great decision from umpire. Joshy McPaul. McPaul. Right place, right time for Joshy. But Benny Edwards and Norse, what a great opportunity early. Yeah, Cunliffe steamed through the midfield, sliced him open. Smith finds Goose. 
Goose, just dis dispossessed by Glass. He'll do that a lot tonight, Chris Glass. Still in some stellar form. Still in some cricketing form as well. On the BPL, was it was in uh, the BPL player of the round last round for the Brisbane Premier League cricket. So, still on the top of his game, Chris Glass. Another man who's been playing well. And hopefully his hockey Liam does all Brown the opportunity. Oh, great ball from Brown He's to Brown Robinson. To Robinson. Some early uh, early pressure here from North. So North really taking it to Red Lions. They did that the last time these two played, and and Red Lions uh, succumbed to North. North came out on top. So interesting start here. Fall away press from North. Craig Smith won't panic in this situation. Mitchell Smith gets the ball away. Can't quite connect with Brad Hobday. Welcome to our, our viewers at home. Leave us a comment. Ask Cookie anything. Paddock on the ball here for Norse. Gets a touch from Hobday. Norse ball. Kind and gone the colour in the hair, looking good. Edward, oh. Opportunity here, Robinson for North shot. Great save from Burge. Follow up opportunity. Matheson on the ball. Well defended from red line. Only as far as Edwards though. Cuts inside. Great tackle, Hobday. Hobday. Well done. And Daniel Burge in the game early makes a terrific save. One of the three brothers in this game tonight. Tom and Matt on opposing sides. So we've got Tom Burge who's playing for red lines with Daniel, and we've got Matt Burge who's playing for Norse. As Craig Smith shows the genius that he is and gets out of trouble there right in front of us. Race back from, from Brisbane today, playing for St Andrews in Brisbane, Craig Smith. Went down for a warm up, he said. Yeah, this is the main game today. Suey does Spot well. Bounds. Elliot Speed now takes it quickly. Oh, uh, heavy challenge, advantage he, play. Yeah, thought he might have done enough there to, to, to force a short corner. Very marginal. Good from Haddock though, stood strong. Speed just gets through. Again, Edwards busy. Really good crowd in on the far hill. Yeah, there's a mixture of red and green as you'd expect, and down towards the bar, there's all these other colours mixed in together. <laughs> Bit of a rainbow. <laughs> Case throws a quality crossfield pass, picks up Pemba. Pember in the orange boots, throws it through to Hob... Uh, Opportunity. Great Goose, save that was. Hilton. Great work, Hilton, early. So both keepers in the game early. Here comes Bidgood. Bidgood wins a free hit outside the D. Hilton being one of the form keepers of the competition this year. Taken quickly here by Red Lions. Into the circle they go. Fantastic yeah. defence from Norse, though. Low, hard and strong tackles. Good ham and glass, unbelievable. Good strength. As oh, Norse see. really spread, you can see how how uh, good glass he is at outletting there. It's Micah Matheson. Opportunity here. Slices it through. Good touch there from the defender. Yeah, Schroeder just gets enough on that. Cam Baxter was steaming forwards. Eyes lit up. Cam Baxter, a teacher here at Downlands College. Very good hockey player and rugby coach. Glass on the ball. Liam Brown. Oh, Brown, fact, sorry, yeah. Brown on the ball. Takes it himself. Smith out early. Brown goes in, gets a touch. Fancy ball. Given his danger. Fair enough. <laughs> so Red Lions standing tall here at the back. Case to Burge. So Tom Burge. Back to Case. Boyd. Dog legs across to Schroeder. Schroeder. Just rolls the ball over the sideline, not touched by Baxter. Haddock. Over the ball. 
slaps the ball so beautifully over yeah, down the baseline though. Paddy. Not a connect, not a connect. Nathan Case now. Another lovely slap into the midfield. Dylan Pember receives the ball open. Throws it through. Glass well read. Glassy reads oh, it like a book. He's off. On him. He's the changed pace. gears. He's away here. He's gone to third oh, gear. Pecker's Chris got him Glass. now. There's a big hole at the back here. Liam Brown's got to fill the hole if Chris Glass goes forward. Pecker goes passive though. I thought they might have driven mm. there. Glass well back done. covering. Hobday gets the ball to Pember. Gets away from Pember. Brown oh, back down stick the down the line. Boyd again, dog legs to Case. Burge on his left. Harding, oh, Harding birthday now. boy Harding, spins and turns into the D. Oh, a nice little touch there. Good, strong challenge from North. Neither team giving an edge, giving an inch, sorry, early here in this contest. Pecker driving in. Pecker just loses the Opportunity ball. Opportunity here. Benny Edwards, he's got good Edwards. skills. Does he have the speed? Not quite. <coughs> Liam Brown now takes this one just inside the North attacking half. Throws it into the pocket. Benny Edwards, a bit more space for him to use his skills. Cuts inside. Oh, he's had, got the ball on a string, Benny Edwards, tonight. Very skillful player, Benny Edwards. Three edges just outside. Cunliff overlapping. Glassy back on the 25. Great ball. Finds Cunliff. Cunliff into the D. Short court. corner. Short corner for North. Great play from Benny Edwards, the captain. Finds Cunliff. Cunliff does the rest. Gets a short corner. So our first chance here to have a look at the attacking structure of uh, the north side. And we see Chris Glass up in the huddle. We haven't seen that for a few weeks now. Glass, he's been happy to be right at the back, but no Goodham on. So Zach Goodham, the the dangerous flicker. Yeah, Glass, he looks like he's a genuine option here. Carter Mogg can also flick a ball. So we got a call from, from Brent Garsky earlier in one of the other games, wanting Glassy to have a flick, so we might uh, see that, have that opportunity here. He's on the left battery. Benny Edwards at L1 as well. No, it goes to Carter Mogg. Mogg with the flick. Oh, go! Carter Mogg! Down the left-hand side of the keeper, hits and the, the back North boys love it. 1-0 North. I tell you what, Cookie, you don't get too many down the left-hand side when Nathan Case is there. He won't be happy with that. Yeah, thread of the needle. But awesome start from Norse. They've had all the play, a lot of pressure. And uh, Jimmy Cunliffe again, stand strong. Glassy over the ball now. Right across to Matt Burge. This next five minute period is so, so important for North here. They've worked really hard to take the lead. Got to Clever remain ball. Clever ball, Ollie Harding. Gets through, finds his target. Elliot Speed just raises it there. Lots of substitutions. Frantic start to the game, Cookie. Absolutely. That's what we want to see. Fast and frenetic hockey yeah. here. Plenty yeah. of skills on display. Give the crowd what they want. Burge goes to Tomahawk into the top of the circle. Elliot Speed will retrieve that. Running an arc into the edge of the circle, looking for a foot. Cuts it back. Can only find Pemba. Well smothered though from Hilton. Yeah, a little through the legs play there, but I think it might have just clipped his back foot. And, and Hilton was Johnny on the spot. So defused the situation. Again. North spread, glass on the 16. Really use this inside left channel to Out backwards, here. Lindsay has options Ooh, forward. Oh, clash together from two of their, the best friends. Bidgood and Matheson. Bidgood was cheeky there, got away with it. Mitchell Smith, Fonts, Craig Smith. They are related, but not by blood. Again, Matheson just being steamrolled tonight. 
Smarty, you don't see Smarty steamroll people too often. <laughs> Great hockey. Bit of feeling out there. Both teams really having a genuine crack. Ball across opportunity here, Elliot Speed. Cuts up to the backhand, shoots. Shoots and scores! Elliot, Elliot, Elliot Speed. Speed! What a finish oh. on the backhand! As Great we said, work. the next five minutes period was crucial for Norse. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to hold on, but Red Lions love it. So he just got that ball on his fore stick, rolled around onto his back stick, wrong footed glass, back stick shot, round the keeper for a goal. So one all, entertainment early here. Burge finds Brown Halls. Brown Halls busy. Great <laughs> skills for Brown Halls. Beats three, beats four. Brown Halls. Oh, oh, hard tackle there. Yeah, for short corner. Carter Mogg swinging back stick tackle. Trips. Lockie Brown Halls. Short corner. So straight away, red lines. Not to be left wondering, not to die wondering. Of hit back again. Probably just lacking a little bit of experience there. North worked so, so hard to take the lead there. They've given away a goal, fair enough, but then a little bit of in ill discipline, I should say, sorry, has given Red Lions an opportunity now with a short corner. So Smith, the captain, to inject. Got Brown Halls on the left battery. I think that's Nielsen on the right battery. Josh Bidgood left. Corey Goo's right, goes left to Josh Bidgood. Mm -hmm. Gets a shot in, saved. saved and dispatched well by Hilton. the keeper, Hilton. Probably just a saveable height there from Bidgood. Needs to either go lower or higher there. Ooh, always wanted advantage there, but good decision, umpire Mog. As the ball comes wide, had him backwards, Lindsay. Finds Mog again in the middle. Mog, strong tackle, yeah, well gets the Mog. ball back. Good strength. Oh, around the back. How good is that ball? Harlem Globetrotters there from Goodham. Goes into the circle. Well, defi well defended from Big Good. Hell outlet through Brown Halls. Just turns out, throws, throws the ball to the help side here. Will Nielsen on the ball. Nielsen. Big Good turns. Into Wrong foot. Speed Elliot again. Speed. Has another shot. Hilton. Unbelievable smothering save there. Did everything right, Alex Hilton. <laughs> Johnny on the spot. Big speed. Well done. From red lines here. They've got momentum. In Nielsen. The they go. Adam backwards, Lindsay. Lindsay. The big G. Nielsen fighting though, fighting hard. 26 seconds to go here in the first quarter. One all's the score. Backpedaling there. Nielsen no. get rid of that. Yeah, no mucking around from Glassy. Knocks it down probably, the other end. That'll see the time out. Mitchell Smith chasing it, but. He won't be in any, in any hurry for the first quarter, so... I don't know, Cookie, that felt like it was about three minutes, that quarter. <laughs> what a great game. Yeah. What a great quarter of hockey. Fantastic. I thought North had the better of the early early uh, passages of play and, and were good enough to put a goal in. But uh, Red Lions really responded and seemed to wake up after that goal yeah. and, and potentially unlucky not to have a second. Absolutely. And just looking at the umpires that come off, so their communications or their comms must have gone flat, so they're, they're going to change them in this quarter. But uh, well adjudicated early by the two umpires, but some of this play has been outstanding. Absolutely. We'll be back shortly for action in the second quarter.
And we're back here for action in the second quarter. A thrilling first quarter. Sees the scores level at one apiece. Just waiting for the time to, uh, to tick so we can start the second quarter here. Corey Goo's on the ball for Red Lions. Plenty of noise, plenty of atmosphere here tonight at Clyde Park. It's fantastic to see. Yeah, cracking weather. Been good hockey all day. Perfect weather all day. Bar's been pumping. The coffee was going early. The barbie's been sizzling away all day. It's Craig Smith on the ball. And still fairly warm. Temperature still says on yeah. my, my watch 19 degrees, which is probably one of the warmer games these boys have played for A1 this year. It's normally about 19 to 21 here all, all year, though, Cookie. Oh, paradise, <laughs> mate. Nathan Case now on the ball. Yeah, Case will be dirty. He just missed that drag flick from Carter Mog to open the scoring for North, so... You don't see that very often from a quality defender. Harding turns his young mate Suey inside out. The boys have been hanging around each other all day long. Save again by Hilton, slaps it over the top. Good shot away. Boardie with the misfield. <laughs> Boy, that's extra run. <laughs> that's over. That's uh, overthrows. Craig Smith here opts to go out to the right hand side. Princess. A oh. spot. Great ball. Birthday boy, Ollie Harding. Yeah. Not quite good on the end of that one. Very narrow midfield here from, uh, from North. You can almost see a diamond in the centre of the field. <coughs> or a box. As Ollie, yeah, just comes back out. Fall away. Glassy getting away. Craig Smith coming with him. Glassy eliminates Harding, which isn't easy to do. Great ball. Picks up Robinson. Robinson a couple to beat. Oh, what Smitty Smith. Smith does well. Hob day in and away real quick. Brownie, Brownie with, with some speed. speed there from Liam. Craig Smith on the ball, brings it right back to Mitchell Smith. Princess, across the case, Schrader. Boydie gets away early, drives the ball straight in, mis miscues it, bounces over the baseline. Again, Norths get away. Glass. Outlets with ease. Matheson just missed trapping that. Mitchell Smith looks looking for a razor and a pass. <laughs> oh. Finds a pass. Just again. Boydie couldn't get on the end of that one. Boydie just missed trapping that. Goose sprinting back into the press. Bruiser staying high. Charge down. Cunniloff as well. Hard, Jimmy. Cunniloff working over the halfway line. Steaming down the right-hand side of the field. Does enough to win a free hit. Yeah. That's Craig Smith and Josh Bidgood. Two big scalps. Brown. Hard ball. No one home. And that's going to be the danger as this, this game wears on. That long, hard, flat passing between Glassy and Brownie. So if you see Glassy floating up, you'll know that he'll be the target for Brownie and vice versa. Yeah, they've got an X factor with their passing game, the two of them. But Red Lions have got plenty of quality as well. Good touch, Pemba. Haddock picks up the foot of Boyd. Boyd's told to stay out. Smith, oh, Smith. Smith. Craig Smith, fantastic guy. Interception in the midfield. Opportunity now. Hob day, one on one. Glass. Chris Glass. Very physical with Hob day, but Hob day as well to ride the challenge. Bounced back like a tennis ball there, didn't he? Good to him. Goes for a spin. Both teams flying into some challenges. 
Smith outside, so can go straight in, deflection, oh, goes over the top. There. Hobday got a nick. Yeah. Too much on it, probably, over the top of the goal. It's again dangerous. Lots of subs, still rolling through. Glass, flat pass to the help side. Good to him. Gets in a bit of a tangle, but works his way out of it. Great ball across to Edwards. Edwards. Just oh. a loose first touch. And Burge comes out and smothers well. I tell you what, that had some backspin on it. It hit the ball and spun away from Edwards and fell right into uh, goalkeeper Burge's hands. And he swatted it over the sideline to defuse it. Yeah, another but big again. opportunity there from Norse. If, he's, if he sticks that trap, you'd back him on his backhand there to, to cause some trouble. That pass again, threading the needle there for Norse. So that the counter attack's very strong. As Haddock, Haddock uh, throws a couple of stick checks in there. Well played from red lines. Plays through the press of Norse here. Get the ball to the help side. Just a little bit of hesitation though, and gives Burge an opportunity to to make an interception. Nearly taken out by a sniper. <laughs> Just trips, trips there. Trips on the flat ground. That's called play on, but yeah, no, pull back now. The Foot there. Turnover now. Edwards Edwards chasing. <laughs> Nathan Case hits the ball case. out and hits Will, Will <laughs> Nielsen right in the foot. Nielsen in, in the road. Case not happy. Brownie over the ball, just outside the five. Travels now. Oh, beautiful pass to an overlapping oh. Burge. Well run, well run from Burge. Great ball from Brown. Brown Hall's now counter attack. Ollie Harding presenting. This is where Red Lion's so dangerous. In around Suey. Suey just clips or holds the play up. Glass strong enough wins the ball. Oh, a couple of stick checks there. The crowd aren't happy. Glassy wins the free hit. Glass now slowing things down. Just under 10 to go in the first half. One all the score. Big overhead out. Again, Matheson in the right spot. Ball comes to Burge. Norse have fallen right away here in the press. Front three fairly flat. Brown Halls, Mr. Cusin overhead. Nielsen from behind. Matheson good enough. Matheson gets away quickly. Comes back left to Cardamog. Cardamog back to the middle. Brown. Brown slots the ball through. Gets a touch from red lines. Long corner. Brown on the ball, travels, tees it off, picks up the foot of Tommy Burge, that's a short corner. So Norse now, another opportunity. Crowd's getting involved, great night here at Toomba Hockey. Chris Glass rolling on through. 
coming up for the for the short corner. Glass on the left, battery is a stick trapper. Brando inject. Goodham left. Carter Mog right. Comes to the left battery. Goodham straight down the left lane. That's a goal. 2-1 the score. Seven and a half to go for the first half. So the Norse corner battery proving potent now. That's one for Morgan, one for Goodham. So 2-1 the score. Brownie just engaging. Glassy slowing things down. Seven to go in the first. Burge, Cunnell off one touch. Case is good enough. Under a lot of pressure from Edwards. Gets his stick on it, Edwards. Just trips over the baseline. That's a 16. Brown swoops in, Pemba loose on the ball, Brown opens it up, gets finds Mog wide, Mog tries a slider, picks up Cunliffe, Cunliffe has Matheson coming back on the left, Matheson goes straight, Benny Edwards sees it over the baseline, long corner, Jimmy Cunliffe on the ball. Brown slides it right across to Glassy. Glass has options. Harding does well. Harding and Micah Mathewson. Ball gets to Brown Halls. Again, Browning with a round the corner pass. Doesn't find anyone. Case slowing things down. Again, Norse falling right away. Matheson trailing. Brown Halls opens the gap up through the middle. Nielsen, mistrap. Had on backwards, Lindsay. Has to be quick. Goose was fast. Glass again on the ball, 16. Corey Goose right in his face. Glass to Cunliffe. Cunliffe back on the inside to Mog. Mog dog legs across. Picks up Brown. Brown. Going to get as far as Craig Smith. Turnover. Smith promotes the ball to Goose. Goose slaps it across. Picks up Brown Halls. Brown Halls to Harding. Hilton's down on the ground. Well done, Hilton. Diffuses the situation. Now we have a three on three situation. Edwards gets the ball through, picks up Robinson. Robinson jinx around. Nielsen coming at speed. Does well, Will Nielsen. Gets a touch on it. End to end hockey here, straight away. Had on backwards, Lindsay. Dispossessed by Goose. Goose throws an intercept. Elliot Speed good enough to get the ball back. Only as, only as good as Mog. Mog turns the ball back around again. Cunliffe didn't read the play, got left behind. Three and a half to go in the first half. Brown comes for a spell, good to him on. Great ball down the line to a running Goose. Goose has been good in this back end of this first half. Just sees it over the sideline though. Chris Glass, three minutes to go, 2 1 lead. Good from Goose. 
Conniff. Just a little bit flash there. Conniff gives Brownells an opportunity. Has a shot. Hilton and good enough again. If he was missing, but saw it over the baseline. Hilton's been energetic. Smith on the half, on the long corner throws it across to Schroeder. Schroeder has Ollie Harding straight. Finds Brownells on a 45. Brownells another shot. Good from Hilton again. Good save. Carter Mog, uh, Jake Robinson that is, been pulled up for a back stick. Back stick, chip out. Two and a half to go. Mitchell Smith rolls the ball back up. Lots of players inside the, inside the D. Burge now gets the ball wide to Nielsen. Nielsen showing good skill. Eliminates two. Jink. Nielsen still going. First one, finds a foot, back of the stick. Craig Smith slows things down, just under two. Ball comes back to Mitchell Smith. Mitchell Smith drives it straight, play on the call. Ollie Harding must have got a touch. Great ball from Mitchell Smith. Glass now slows things down, minute and a half. Throws a big bomb out. Schroeder with work to do. Does well. Matheson can't quite get the ball. Smith, little cheeky chip. Nielsen goes left and right. Matheson strong in the defence. Gives the free hit away. Nielsen comes through a spell. Pemba for the last minute. Craig Smith in no hurry here. Changes up. Throws the ball right across to Tom Burge. Tom Burge travels, travels, gets the ball back across to Smith. Smith travels into the D. 45. Carter Mogg gets the ball out over the sideline. Still 35 to go. Burge sprints for the ball. Goose on the free hit. Goose travels. Diving tackle there by Mog. Pemba in the D. Dispossessed by Glass. Free hit Glass. Great scrambling hockey for, from both sides for the last, last part of this half. Glass is going to slow things right down now. Six seconds, five seconds. And he dispatches that. Picked up by Burge on the halfway line. And that's half time. Be back in a minute. Okay. Oh, I think every grand final is an exciting. Ready guys? Are we ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! And the rough and racing we have past high and north in the but new town and range will have taken the ticket on the first leg. Range will oh, pass high have come home with a screamer with young Hawthorne. <laughs> Rainsville, Newtown, Rainsville, Rainsville, Rainsville!
Oh, I think every grand final's an exciting, exciting day. So I'll be really, really pumped up and uh, looking forward to it. So, I think our yeah, strengths are, is our consistency. We've got a, a good group of guys together. Uh, we've worked on their fitness and their skills over many years, and uh, I think uh, the consistency and depth is the, is our uh, two big strengths. Uh, North have been had a really good year. They've built up over the last few years, and, and they've been really good at both ends of the field. So we'll have to be very careful around our defensive circle, and we'll also have to be uh, very clinical because they've got a very, very strong defense. I think in every grand final, you've got to take the opportunities, don't you? Like grand finals are tough games. You've always got to, you've got to grind them out, and uh, when you get the opportunity, you've got to take it. So uh, we've both got two young teams. So we're young and North are young. So I think it's fast, be quick, um, and there'll be uh, there'll be the low out there. That's it. So welcome back here to the second half of the Toowoomba Hockey Association 2021 A-grade men <laughs> men's grand final. We're all a bit flustered after that halftime entertainment. It was very exciting. Congratulations to the Rangeville Hockey Club. As we get underway now, and uh, I'm welcomed back by Cookie. What are, your, uh, what are your thoughts, mate? Good to be back, mate. Bit of entertainment at halftime, which was nice. But uh, this promises to be an absolutely cracking second half of hockey here. Norse have uh, you know, come out really strong tonight. Currently hold a two goals to one lead. But the fitness of, of Red Lions, they work so hard on their fitness. It'll be interesting to see whether or, whether or not later in this game they're able to create some more space through their movement or if Norse can, can run with them. Yeah, absolutely. And we see a good ball there from one bid good to another. Josh bid good to Harding. Will Sui from Norse dispossesses. Great composure there from Sui. Yep. Matheson just clips his foot there. Probably the only thing that kept it in the field of play. G'day to all of our viewers. Give us a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Who do you think the player of the match is going to be? What, what did you think of the halftime entertainment? Did you like it as much as the crowd here did? I can tell you the crowd were absolutely going crazy down on ground level. <coughs> Cardamog goes underground. <laughs> oh. Be good in Matheson. Keep an eye on that one. That's the older bid good. Uh, down the line they go. Nathan Case does well to intercept. He'll look to go to the help side if he can to try and find space. Norse do well to cut him off. And Liam Brown, great steal. But Benny Edwards helps out and gets the better of Craig Smith. But Lachlan Brownhills helps his mate out. Wins the ball back for red line. Goes direct. Opportunity here. Bradley Hobday. Just crosses it. Hilton. Oh, Hilton again. Glassy. Down into the ground. <laughs> Deemed as dangerous. Fair enough. Brownhills takes it quickly. Pemba on the left-hand side. 
Throws it hard into the circle. It's hit a foot. Free hit to the defence. Josh and Mick Paul. Great positioning there from Josh. Able to make the right call. So as we head into a uh, championship quarter, as we like to say here, mate, what are your thoughts? What uh, what do you think the Norse boys have spoke about at half time? Well, I think they've worked really, really hard to gain ascendancy. And in the first quarter, they nearly threw it away. They, they worked really hard for a long period and then through a little bit of in, ill discipline. Oh, oh Liam Brown. Oh, oh, oh. Had a free shot at that because he knew it was his free hit. Red Lions got back in the game. So I'd be expecting Chris Glass to really take charge along with Liam Brown. They're the two most experienced players in the North lineup tonight to really manage the game well. As the later the game goes, those two are integral for Norse. From a Red Lions perspective, yep, this man Scotty on the Downs, ball, yep. Lachlan Brownhalls, Craig Smith, Nathan Case, they're the three most experienced players for Red Lions. So you'd expect them to really try and control their game and let their younger blokes you know, work really hard to create space for those three, in three players in particular. As you see, Corey Goose driving into the circle. Hard ball across, oh. just too hard for Dylan Pemba. Lovely opportunity created there from Goose. I think Benny Edwards is also the X factor for Norths. Capable of, capable of producing something special, something out of nothing. What about you, Steve? Who's your X factor player or, or your player to watch? Great ball there from Chris Glass to Liam Brown. Yeah, you probably nailed it there, mate. The, the glass brown factor for Norse. Um, Craig Smith in the middle for Red Lions just is an absolute gentleman in, of the game and, and a high-level player, still playing high-level. Um, so I think given the opportunity, a Josh Bidgood drag flick could, could uh, square it up. But um, just really looking forward to the next, well, this half of hockey. That'll get through here to that X-Factor man. Edwards beats Craig Smith. Cuts inside. Back into traffic, though. He's on his knees. <laughs> Pirouetting around defenders. Silky, silky skills from Benny Edwards. And So how does, a, how does a player get to be like that, mate? Does he practice that in his bedroom at home? or? I think it's got, it, it's <laughs> got, to, it's got to be hours and hours of repetition. And, and that's something that the kids have to remember. You've got to practice at home. You can't just turn up to your one yeah. hour a week at training and expect to execute your skills perfectly. You've got to practice at home, in your own backyard, with your brothers, with your sisters, with your mum and dad. That, that was just fantastic skill. And a high ball across. Taking a touch of a red line, player I thought, but umpire Mog said it was a chip. Umpires have been good so far. Umpires have been good all day, to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. And this is their grand final as well. They've umpired all year to be recognised in a game like this. Great tackle from Yeah, that's Cardamore. a perfect tackle in that situation. Probably had him for speed, but knew his defence was behind him and just shaved it back to the defenders. Yeah, Great absolutely. work, Cardamog. Matheson does well. Yeah, Matheson's been good. Travels up from Brizzy. Everyone knows, uh, you know, the Mathesons are very good at indoor, but Liam's been a, a stalwart here for Norse this year and travelling back for the game. So we thank him very much for that. Glass on the ball. Pushing up a little bit high here, Glassy. Off the back stick, though. Well done, Boy Nielsen. If that went through, that was going to Benny Edwards. So, had to make the trap or attempt the trap. And thank you to everyone tuning in tonight. It's fantastic to see so many people watching this game. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. We want to hear who you're barracking for tonight, who you think player of the match should be, and if you liked halftime entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you think will win? Absolutely. Because we're still, yeah, we're yeah. still a, over a quarter and quarter and a half away, so anyone's game still, and everyone knows Red Lions, and they will never give up. Yes. Norse are really <laughs> taking it to them at the moment, so exciting game. Mog does well, just keeps the ball in. Dispossessed by Nielsen. Tom Burge on the ball. Heavy press there from North. Over the top, red lines go. Speed brings the ball down. Has a couple in front. Squares the ball to Hobday. Glass good enough. Like a gazelle, Glassy, and then down the backhand, down the line. Yeah. Moving well. 
Glassy. He must have next week off work, eh? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him get out of first and second gear tonight a few yeah. times. Yeah, he put a turn of pace on in the first half. Holy moly. Case. Right on the K in Toomba Hockey. Now back to the E. Now back to the Y. <laughs> <laughs> now past the extra mu exclamation mark. <laughs> Burge Case to Burge. Slowing things down. Back to Case. Case. Oh, just gets away from Nathan Case there. Again. Right in front of the North supporters. A couple of little mistakes from Nutter. He won't be happy. He's been high level for a long time. Liam Brown now on the ball. Inside out hit. He loves that one across the face. Took a little touch. Burge. Burge has to come out and yeah. clear. And Work to do. Well. Cunnel with it. speed. Standing onto it. You think that little man bun makes him run faster? Makes little, him look like he's running fast. on there to yeah. get a little bit of intel. Here comes Edwards again, that ball on a string. It's a long mm. corner now. Liam Brown in the ball. Brown overlap, uh, Burge overlapping. From Matt Burge, that is. Back to Glassy. One of the three Burge boys here tonight. Glass back to Burge. Work from Robinson just gets away from him though. Glass. Here's an opportunity. Speed. Just holding it up. Chip and chase. Liam Brown will come out. Speed will get the opportunity now for Hobday. Hilton's come out. Oh, Hilton Hilton's got a piece well. of it. Fantastic. Great Goal keeping keeping. Hilton. Joshua McPaul might have lost his headset there, yeah. but a great call. He kept up with play as well there, McPaul. Yep. Little pat of the hands from Glass and Brown. They know they Got away with one there. Yeah, Liam Brown, really mature play there. Was able to hold back and protect the counter-attack. That's something that Red Lions do so, so well. Back to Brown now. Pember's pressuring him in the midfield. Back to Glass. Glass turns out. Wonderful experience. Control finds Burge. Matthew Burge, this is. Slap down the line into a one-on-one. -on -one. Nathan Case does well to intercept. Ollie Harding will pick that up. An opportunity here to run at defenders. He loves this, Ollie. Sandwich, though. Will Nielsen, Liam Brown. Classy from Brownie tonight. Fantastic skills, great control. He holds the game up here. Throws it out to Haddock on the right. Yeah, Haddock does well. Finds the foot of Nielsen. Thoughts on his haircut, Steve? On Haddock's ah, haircut? Looks good. Yeah, looks good. A little blonde tips? Yeah, a little bit jealous. I think I probably would have got away with that in my day, but not anymore. As he comes off for a spell. And Brownie, coming for a blow. Oh, Pamba plucks it out of the air. Yeah, it'd be interesting. So in the first, in the first quarter, when Norse took the lead, Liam Brown left the field and red lines hit back straight away. So it'll be interesting to see how long Brownie's off the field for. Yeah. I think it'll be just a quick drink of, drink of water, maybe a minute or two. Newtown have all the field position now. Case coming for a spell. Mitchell Smith going back on. Ball comes out to Tom Burge. Gets around a couple, but straight over the baseline, no one home. Just over six to go in the third. Championship quarter. Plays in motion up high. Burge being pressured here by Goose. Good ham. Well done for Will Nielsen. Great tackle, Nielsen. Michael Boyd on the ball. A little bit loose, but he gets away with it. Good ham. The green card. Yeah, green card got there. Got tangled there from Boyd. So we'll see him with a. We'll see him back on the field with a couple of minutes to play, maybe three. Yeah, for me, I know Liam's only been off the field for a minute, but for me, this is where you need your senior players on the field. You're a man down. Red lines are going to really throw a lot, throw the kitchen sink at you now. Nielsen, good tackle from Glass. Wins a free hit. 
So experienced and composed at the back. Interesting, interesting to see Coach Scotty Downs putting Joshy Bidgood on the field now in case they force a short corner with the extra man. He wants his premier flicker on the field. Smart decision. Glass Classy straight onto the, the back the stick. Toma out of defence. <laughs> slices open the press, but well intercepted. Bordy now finds Pekka. Pekka, great skills. V drags in field. Well, Baxter gets tangled up. Pekka wins a free hit. Brown horse travels. Throws right. Bidgood now. Far right, be good. Jinx inside. Gets the ball across. Opportunity now for Red Lions. Oh, across the, across face. the face. Corey Goose couldn't quite oh. thread that one in there. Through speed and Harding and Boyd. So opportunities coming knocking. So Edwards still off the field. Same as Brown. I think Norse need to need their yeah, senior players get those on the field players here. back in. And obviously, Goodaham off as well through suspension. So three of their senior players are off the field. Matheson slips a little bit. Oh, a bit of miscommunication now. It's let Craig Smith come into the game. Matheson, got to be careful. Oh, smutty. Hits the deck. Just feeling that a little bit smutty. Getting up a little bit ginger. Such a crucial play for Red Lions. Lachlan Brandhorse is in the pocket here. Picks up the ball. Cut a Mog. Good strong tackle, Mog. Forces a long corner. Gets him out of that dangerous T spot area. Craig Smith still limping. Good hand back on the field now. Back to 11 v 11. Still missing Edwards and Brown though, Norse. Ball goes in. Craig Smith on the ball. A wounded, beware the wounded smut. Good reach around there from Good hand. Great tackle. Opportunity. No one high. Throws it in. Yeah, the three and a half. Room. I'm not sure about that. I'd probably just try and force a free hit. No, I would never have smashed it. Smashed it <laughs> into the car park. <laughs> and into the club. Princess now. Fall away press. Finds bid good. Bid good. Wins a free hit. Yeah, good skills and bid good. Smith now on the ball. To his good mate, Brown Halls. Play on, oh no, good communication from the umpires. Must have the battery packs working again now, battery packs. Chris Grass has just said, <laughs> go away, it's mine. Pat on backwards, take... Lindsay was trying to slip around the free hit. <laughs> yeah. He was told in no uncertain terms. Yeah, just takes 10-15 just takes seconds. Lindsay's not sure where to clock. go now, he's yeah. just running in circles. <laughs> he just takes 10-15 <laughs> seconds off the clock, throws it down into the corner. <laughs> Bunkering down here, North. Oh, the big G. We love the big G. People's champion. Yeah. One of the best team players you'll play with. <clears throat> Can run a nice little circle, though. Two to go. Third quarter. Pemba presenting. Dog legs to Smith. Yeah, the strikers are going to a spinal formation now for Red Lions. Very yep. central, trying to create space for their attacking midfielders on the outside or to lead into. What? As we see, ball thrown down the middle. Chris Glass has just lost his stick. Well handled there by McPaul. Probably didn't have to do that, but... Opportunity now. Oh, Goose turns and shoots. We've stopped play here. McPaul stop play. Goal doesn't count. McPaul's just coming. The umpire's coming together. Maybe something off the ball here. Time's off. Glass wants a 16. Red Lions want a short corner. 16 yard hit. Fair enough. Good communication from the umpires. Yeah, very well Consulted. handled. Very well handled. Time's back on. Yeah, Liam Brown's been off for a long time here in this third quarter. Inside the last minute now. Saving some legs for the last quarter, potentially. Just starting to lack. 
numbers in attack north. There's one or two high, but the midfield aren't getting up to support. So they're really bunkering down in their defensive 50 now. Be good travelling. And it looks like it's going to be wave after wave of red lines attack. Smith. Diverts the attack. Pemba runs the arc. Burge good enough. Burge just gets clipped there. 25 seconds. 2-1 to Norths. Glassy holds the ball for the last 10. Look to go over to Carter Mogg here on the right-hand side. There's a big overhead. Carter Mogg just can't Ooh. quite control it. Maybe it was one last chance for Norths, but couldn't get that one. And that'll be the third quarter. We'll go into the sheds at 2-1 to Northern Suburbs leading Red Lions. We'll be back soon. And we're back here for the last quarter of the year in Toowoomba Hockey's winter season as Benny Edwards is about to get us underway here. Still 20 seconds to go. Steve promises to be an absolutely cracking last quarter, mate. What are your thoughts? Oh, mate, this, this could go either way. Everyone knows uh, who, who's watching and, and here at the ground how, how good these two teams have been this whole season. Red Lions will not die wondering. Lockie Brownalls, Craig Smith, Nathan, Nathan Case, those sort of fellas will be pushing until the last second. So, as we see Edwards steaming forward, a well-weighted ball, but just out of reach. And Norse, well, we keep going back to that experience of Brownie and Glassy. We've got this young side just absolutely steaming along perfectly at the moment. So, I just am looking forward to quality hockey from quality blokes for the next 15, Cookie. Yeah, absolutely. Craig Smith. Just rolls his stick over the top of the ball there and they probably don't come much more quality than him. Trapped it absolutely dead in the midfield though. That's a lesson for all the junior players looking out there. Executing your basic skills under pressure. Clean trap. Was able to get his head up and unfortunately didn't quite find the pass. So red lines are going to press now but we just saw that the ball through from Cunliffe to Sui on the outside mm. and just went in behind the two strikers so great ball Cunliffe so he just couldn't connect but ball ends up over the baseline red lines won't want glassy having time and space on the ball so I think when he's on the ball they'll want to press him that's right and Haddock Haddock does well beats one beats two beats three does well Haddock <coughs> great hair colour Haddock I'm getting uh, Justin Timberlake early 2000s vibes yeah. off him I think yep <laughs> One of my favourite singers. Yep. <laughs> Chris Glass now on the ball. So interesting, Glassy, uh, Brownies come right back. Mm. So whether they are looking to overload their defence to have that brick wall mentality. I think that defensive midfield presence is important. They've got, oh, short, short corner. corner. Short corner. Benny Edwards has... Caught him napping. Yeah, caught him napping. Run at a player. He's engaged. Short corner. So... And the North's Plenty of noise love around it. the ground, absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting to see who the who the neutrals are going for. There's you know a lot of still a lot of new towns, still not a lot of Rangeville people hanging around this evening. And there's plenty of noise. Yeah, that's right. 
red lines have been very good for a long time, so no doubt the tall poppy syndrome is committed. But uh, enough of that for now. Let's see what happens. So Glassy, our oh, Brownie now, just going to walk over to this ball. He's walking right over. Yep, experience, taking time off the clock. So you've got the two, the two best flickers on their batteries, the two goal scorers. Mog scored first from the right battery. Goodham scored second from the left battery. That's the exact way they're set up. Brownie jogs back, sets the ball. This is crucial here. A goal here will give him some breathing space. Goes to Goodham. Flicks low. Oh, great right touch. Save. save Burge. Toenail save there from Outstanding Burge. Outstanding work, Burge. Had a bit of pressure on him. Already down a couple of drag flicks from short corners, but to his credit, he stood up there. Brown again, very slow on the ball. Cunliff. Cunliff. Oh, well Pink boy. Nielsen. Nielsen, and, Nielsen and break forward if you can. Benny Edwards, though, great effort to get the Goose down. trips up. Smith, crossfield bomb. Finds Pember in space. This is where they are so dangerous here, red line. Bodies moving forward now for the red team. Carter Mogg, fantastic from Carter. Pick Carter Mogg must, target make, as yeah, well. must make an outlet. Outlets have got to be 100% here. Pember playing well, makes a good intercept tackle. Goes over the sideline though, Norse ball. <laughs> Norse here, go down the line through Haddock. Oh boy, just sloppy there. Gets away with it, Nathan Case now. Oh, he's turned it over, Case that's dangerous. To Matheson. Slips again, Matheson. Yeah, a bit slippery down that corner. Oh, Audie with the upright reverse down the line to Smart. Smith, yeah, just backs into him there. Yep. Good call from the umpire, I thought. Liam Brown now. Turned just, and backed. Just outside the 23, can go direct in, and he does. Oh, a touch. that's a long corner. A touch <laughs> off a defender. <laughs> A few well hydrated people in the bar <laughs> yeah. might have thought that was a goal. It's like a crowd ca catch it, Greg. Yep. That was a crowd <laughs> goal. <laughs> Brownie again, slowing things down. That's Glassy behind him. Yep. Charge down. Oh, great work, speed. Elliot speeds away. Brownie's got plenty of speed, though. Coming back, channeling. Speed throws it down the line. Chris Glass, Liam Brown, diffuse the situation. Glass uses his experience, threads it into Haddock. Wants it back. Wants it back. Haddock does yeah, enough. Great work from Haddock. Great hairdo, great work. One out from Timberlake. Glass now. Oh. Again, slowing things down. Crossfield overhead to Carter Mogg. Enough on Perfect it, Carter. Ball. We'll get this 2v2 here, 2v2 in the circle. Carter throws it into the circle. Well done from Princess. Great experience from Princess. Just gets in front of uh, Robinson. Brown Halls. Boyd goes without his stick. You need that, son. Yeah, uh, Rob Robinson again. Just gives away a free hit there. Boydie Boyd. throws it in to Pecker. Pecker picks that one up. Good tackle. Oh, tackle. Cam Baxter makes a very important tackle to Downlands Cap. Uh, Teacher. <laughs> Matheson down here on the right-hand side. Just goes down the line. Won't be able to connect. Yeah. But it's better intent from North. They're still committing numbers yeah, absolutely. forward. absolutely. You can't sit back for 15 minutes. Although, I'm just looking at Brownie. Pulling him right out of the press. They yep. want to fall right away. They don't want to have too much space between their defenders and their midfield. That's where the attacking midfielders of, of red line sorry, can really hurt you. Case to Burge. Back to Case. Case goes overhead now. Picks up, picks up a presenting heart and gets away from him, the birthday boy. All he wants for his birthday is a trap. <coughs> or a goal. No, Harding, very good. Very good young fella here from Toowoomba. From Toowoomba. Plays a lot of rep hockey. Happy birthday, all. Glassy throws it down the line to Haddock. He's got numbers forward if he can. Edwards. Well read though, from Voidy. Oh, big push in the back there from Edwards. Got to remain disciplined. Have to remain disciplined here, Norse. 
Need oh, 11 players on the field. That's a strong tackle from Goodham too. That's his second for the match. Gets away with it. Let's keep everyone on the field. Umpires say play. Yeah. Ken North just wiping a few more seconds off the clock. Midfielders still got to want the ball there. Barcy throws it out. Unable to bring that one in there. Good to him, I think. Head on backwards, Lindsay. Running over to Glassy for instructions. Red lines to take this one. Coming out of defence. Throw it into Nielsen in the midfield. Great dog leg there from Nielsen. To picks Burge. up Burge. Case picks the ball up here on the left hand side. Slaps down the line. Mousetrap. Mousetrap. Here it is. There it is. Harding. Yeah. Great work from Hat on backwards, Lindsay. Yeah, he did, did enough. Again, Glassy gets the ball. Midfielders still need to present for this. You can't throw overheads all night. Well, Don't Suey, you. though. Boyd, good enough back there. Be good. Turns, opens up. Danger with the ball. Be good. Well read, Matthewson. No one high, though, for him. He's by himself. Drops it back. Will Nielsen. Oh, Nielsen. Too much oh. speed. Oh. <laughs> Got tangled there from Brownie. Oh, Brownie's oh. gone. Yep. That's a green card for Brownie. <laughs> Chris Glass says, get off, Liam. <laughs> and he does. Nielsen give him a little, a little wave there as well. <laughs> Opportunity. Oh, Brownhorse, good pick up, but equally as good from Chop Suey. So <laughs> six to go, we'll see Brownie again. Down into the pocket. Opportunity here, Hobday, great courage. Reynolds, upright back end. Comes off the foot of Big Good. Big Good disagrees. Respectfully. Glass now again. Slowing things down. Back and around they go. Midfielders have to present. Oh, just gets Ooh. through. Mousetrap, mousetrap. Craig Smith here ghosting down this left-hand touch line. Hasn't been picked up just yet. The defence overcompensate. Very clever play by Glass. Clever play. Knew what he, exactly what he needed to do there, Chris Glass. Won the free hit. A raging bit good. Not, not happy. Again, players in motion. Benny Edwards steaming across for the ball, just out of reach. Case sees that. Six and a half. Only a few seconds and we'll see Brownie back on. Brown Halls travels. Smith, straight at Edwards. Speed now, speed, works a short corner. Elliot Speed from Smith, very good. So six to go. This is the opportunity Red Lions are looking for. Case to inject. Brown Halls and Pemba on the batteries. Bid good left. Goose right. Goes left. Bid good. Picked up by Goodaham. Good running, Goodaham.
Brown's back on the field. Brown Hulse throws it right out to right to Burge. Burge slides it in. It's a touch from Goose. That's a goal. Perfect ball in from John Burge. Picks up Goose right in front of the D. Right in front of the goal. Gets a touch in. Red lines. Hit back. Two alls to score. Five minutes to go. So play's just been stopped here for the moment. Umpire's diffusing a couple of situations. Time's off. So again, beautiful ball from the right. Tom Burge slides it across the face of goal for a tap in for Goose. Liam Brown now back on the field for North. Intercepted from Big Good. They've got all momentum here, red lines. Big Good steaming through. Great touch there from Burge. Matt Burge this time. So the Burge is featuring, featuring heavily in the game tonight. Space on the help side if they can go there. They do so, back. Just slows it down a fraction though. Edwards doing plenty of yards. Nick Bidgood now. Well intercepted from Jimmy Cunliffe. Good strength. Yeah, fair enough, free hit. Just under four minutes to go. Lots of cheer, lots of crowds cheering, involvement. Yeah, well played. That's what they, they're playing hockey again now. Now it's level. Oh, rough tackle from Bidgood. <laughs> Lucky to get away with yeah, a good very... umpiring. Want all the players on the field. Cunliffe. Great ball to Edwards, finds his captain. Jink into the D. Here, Robinson. Good enough to Makes win this Makes a short corner. corner. Great work, Jake Robinson. And North have, North have been under the pump and defended for long periods. It takes red lines to equalise for them to play hockey again. Yeah, that's right. As we see this damaging figure of Chris Glass wandering over the 25 up towards the huddle. What's his involvement going to be? I think all year he's, he's stepped back from the corner, so I'd be very surprised if he steps up and flicks himself. However, <laughs> stranger things well, have happened. He's on battery one. The big moments require the big players. Carter Mong on battery two. So Red Lion's got players right back in the North D. Had on backwards Lindsay there, like a lone figure in the defence with a turnover. Goes to Cardamog with a flick. Hits the Picks first up runner. the foot. Another short corner. Good running bid, good. He's Coach. brave. Two minutes to go. <laughs> McPaul wants him to get on with it. <laughs> Tense moments here. Two minutes, two all. Two minutes to go in the game. Toowoomba Hockey. A1 men's grand final. Brown to inject. Left battery to Glass. Glassy. Glass on the back stick gets pushed. Oh. No, short corners the call. Got to remain disciplined now. Here we are. This is a chance a to uh, to go down in the history books here for one of the Norths players. It's been a long time coming for Norths to win a premiership. This could do it here. Under 90 seconds to go. Again, glass on the left battery. Goes left. Goes to glass. glass. Breakdown. Shot. Oh, wide. Cunliffe just needed a touch. One minute to go. North Danger now. racing to get the ball. So Red Lions racing to get the ball. North racing to get back. Glass gets right back out. Princess 
Great deflection to keep it in play. Oh, had on backwards Lindsay. Lindsay with that tackle. saves the day. Had on backwards Lindsay. Yeah, dangerous. That'll be a free hit to Red Lions here. 40 seconds so to 40 go. 40 seconds. Be good on the ball. Goes down the line. Hobday will keep it in. Picked Great by tackle. Glass. Chris Glass down Glass. the back end, down the line. Dispatches Edwards. to Edwards. Turnover. 20 seconds to go. Bid good. Throws it into the mixer. Carter Mog intercepts. Still time if they can hurry. Burge will race. 18 seconds to go. Burge. <laughs> to Brownells. Brownells on the ball. Gets the ball back to Burge. 10 seconds. Throws Burge it in there. Slides it in. Picked off. Glass has the ball. Dispatches now. Seven Edwards. seconds to go. Hard contest. And that'll be the ball game. We're going to play it down at the moment. Took a heavy collision. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to a penalty shootout to decide this year's A1 men's premiers. What an absolute cracking game. Thanks for jo joining us. Stay with us. Still plenty, to, plenty of action here at Toowoomba Hockey. Each team will pick their five players to go into the shootouts. So Daniel Burge, Alex Hilton, two of the finest keepers in the association. The boys are having a few um, pleasantries. So it's all down to this, all down to this. We'll just stay with you here. Bit of feeling out there. So we're gonna head straight to shootouts. For those of you at home who aren't familiar with the sh how the shootouts work, an attacker will have eight seconds to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. They'll start on the 25, and obviously they have to be within the circle to score a goal. It really brings the goalkeepers into the, into the game here. Be able to showcase their talent and ability, their, their uh, defensive work. So, looking forward to this. The two captains come together. So Daniel Burge, one of the young guns here for Red Lions, looking a little bit nervous, to be honest. Be up against Alex Hilton. Alex has had a fantastic season this year. Yeah, right from right from day dot, right from our Club Glenvale Challenge at the start of the year, Alex Hilton has been one of the best keepers in our association or in our comp. Daniel Burge, who's represented and, and travelled away this year for the Queensland Under 18 men's side, to Launceston. So really looking forward to this. I think we'll see some some quality here, some quality uh, one-on-ones, both in attack and defense. Back in a sec, we're just gonna do some ground announcing. Let's go. Alrighty, we're back here. Each team will have five players. Which will have eight seconds to go one on one with the uh, opposing goalkeeper. It, by the looks of it, it looks like Red Lions have selected Michael Boyd, Ollie Harding, Craig Smith, Corey Goose, Corey Goose, and struggling to Pecker. see their last Lockie and Lockie Brownhalls. North looks like they have James Cunliffe, Chris Glass, Liam Brown. 
Will Chop Suey and Benny Edwards. So the Norse keeper's in the net, which means Red Lions will go first. Looks like Pekka is coming out to the left, so Pekka's going to head over. Yeah, I think from, from my experience, I, I, you really like to take your stronger takers early in the shootout. I've been yeah. involved in a number of shootouts where we've, we've placed our strongest taker last and it hasn't eventuated that they've actually had a turn. So Yeah, that's right. Peck is one of their most experienced players. They've given him the, the responsibility of going first. This year in the Opens Championship, these boys did a lot of work on their shootouts and in Club Glenvale as well. So that won't be new to them. Yeah, they're no stranger to shootouts now, these guys. Once upon a time, it was always a stroke and everyone would stay around after training and practice their, their strokes. But nowadays, it's the one-on-ones. So no extra time, one-on-ones. And here, here goes Pekka, off to the left. Hilton out, drag. Hilton swipes him away. Pekka won't recover from that. Hilton's jumping around. Pekka's in the D, has a shot, saved. Time. Whoa. Hilton. Hilton ran over and high five the crowd before he came back to make the second save. <laughs> That was a long eight seconds there. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Alex Hilton. 1-0 to Hilton. Okay, Liam Brown's just been bold. When bold, home. Brown. <laughs> Liam Brown. All right, so Liam Brown's going to take this one here. Daniel Burge in the net. Liam's had a pretty strong final. Been very good tonight. Just waits for the whistle. The suspense builds. Brown in through the top of the circle. Drags out, looks for the spin, turns around. Wrong foot's Burge on the Tomahawk and he scores! Composure there from Brownie. And he loves it. Acknowledging <laughs> the crowd. Waves to the crowd. Well done, Brownie. Great work, Burge. He went with him for a while. As Ollie Harding, the 16-year-old birthday, birthday boy, strides up to the 25. Not a single person in the bar now. Everyone's pressed against the fence. Harding ready to go. Off he goes. Into the D. Hilton out again. Harding goes to his back stick. Hilton's down. Harding has a shot. Hilton saves. That's the second save for Hilton. He's jumping around with joy. Absolutely loves it, Hilton. Great work, Hilton. Harding feels dejected. All he wants for his birthday is a one-on-one. -on -one. This is, this is a huge shootout here. Daniel Burge needs to save this one to keep Lions in the hunt. So, Chris Glass now. Chris <coughs> Glass coming in to take the one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go, Glassy with the take. Drives into the top of the circle. Out with the spin. Turns around. Cuts back. Round the keeper. Oh. Daniel Burge. Fantastic goalkeeping. Maybe just a bit too cute there from Glass. He went the upright reverse flick. Trying to replicate what Liam Brown did. But Daniel Burge learnt from yeah, the first occasion. Covered his challenge, angles well. Up to the challenge. Welcome to our viewers too. Cutting edge here. We've got Craig Smith now. The inspirational captain. Up against Alex Hilton. This is the third one. Smith goes to his four stick. Cross to the back stick. Hilton out, Smutty puts it away. Smutty's very good. Scores their first one. Settles it now. So Benny Edwards now wanders up to the 25. <laughs> Benny Edwards here on the ball. Very, very skillful player. Has an indoor background, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes the spin. Here he goes. Turns out, goes a spin. Oh, oh too oh, skillful, he's missed. Too Went cute for from a Edwards. fancy manoeuvre there. Too cute from Edwards. Just slides it past the left post. I think Liam Brown showed the, uh, the other players how to go about it. Composure is required. Move the keepers. Yeah, dead right heater Smutty is just pure quality. Corey Goose now sets himself. Umpire gives him some instructions. Hilton in the net. So Goose here for Red Lions. Way he goes. Goose. Goes left. Hilton's down. Open. 
Has a shot. That's a goal. Goose scores. 2-1. Goose scores. Hilton was with him. Then he just lost. Uh, went to his went to ground a little bit early there and gave him an opportunity. It was a tight angle and a great finish from Guzzi. But Hilton, if he can stay on his feet, just make the attackers work a little bit harder. Jimmy Cunliffe now on the ball. Cunliffe now. Very quality player. He's been in some high-level games all year. Right from the Club Glenvale Challenge, one of the captains. Cunliffe now enters the circle, drives out, turns around the keeper, under the keeper, levels it up, two apiece. Scores, Cunliffe. Jimmy Cunliffe scores. Michael Boyd, enter Michael Boyd. One from one in the opens, he took one shootout yeah. and scored it. So steps up to the plate. Again, umpire Mog, just giving him the instructions. Hilton in the net. The crowd's chanting. Not a soul in the bar. Everyone pressed up against the fence. Boyd's off. He Gets a goal. Boyd, he does well. How is the pressure here? Drake Will Hilton Sui has to score to stay in this contest. A lot of pressure on this young man. One of our up and coming young guns. Chop Suey, full of talent. Loves the big stage. 17 years of age. Only Burge to beat. 17 year old on 17 year old. In a huge crowd. Plenty of people out here tonight. It's been a fantastic final. Gets his instructions. Lil Suey enters the top of the circle. Fake drags, goes wide. Shoots. Oh, he goes wide. Red, Red Lions. Lions have won the shootout. Red Lions are the A1 champions in 2021. Unbelievable final, Steve. Yeah, tough for Chop Suey, I feel for him. Alex Hilton was brilliant. Hard for a young fella, but a fantastic game. An unbelievable event. Congratulations to you, Cookie, and Toowoomba Hockey and your committee for a perfect day. And... All the best to the, to the winners across the whole day. Congratulations again, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys.